Hi, Rich Karuba for BowlingBall.com. Understanding the term bowling ball flare potential will help you make a good decision when you purchase your next ball. Cover stock makeup of the bowling ball determines the gripping power a given ball has on the lane and the core design will determine the ball motion or shape or reaction while a given ball has rolling down the lane. Now the core of any bowling ball mass uh, distributions inside the ball are used as key measurements in identifying bowling ball motion. The bowling ball flare potential is simply the maximum amount a bowling ball can migrate while traveling down the lane. Flare potential can be used as an indicator for which balls are best suited, as example, to oily lane conditions, high flare, and which work best on dry lanes, low flare. The RG is an account of the location of the mass inside a bowling ball and it relates whether the mass is concentrated to the center or to the top of the ball or somewhere in between. Uh, typically low RG balls will have low flare potential ratings unless of course there is a high differential rating on the ball you know due to the core construction. High differential ratings can indicate that a given ball will migrate as it travels down the lane and thereby the flare potential on the surface of the ball becomes a noticeable bow tie effect and can have the potential to flare as much as six inches in the track area of the bowling ball, thereby creating the highest hook potential possible. So, the strategy you need to consider in choosing a new ball relating to the flare potential is how sharply do you wish for the ball to react in the mid lane and hook on the back end of the lane? As an example, if the lane conditions you regularly encounter have a high volume oil on the front end of the lane, then a low RG ball with a short skid potential coupled with high differential and high flare potential ratings is a smart choice. If the lane conditions have medium oil, then choosing a ball with a medium flare potential should match pretty well. And as you might expect, dry lanes, which have little or no oil on the front end and tend to encourage an earlier hooking motion more so than desired, require a low bowling ball flare potential to avoid an overdramatic hooking motion on the back end of the lane due to lack of lane conditioner. So in summary, it can be said that flare potential ratings are factors in determining the hook potential a given bowling ball possesses while traveling down the lane. I hope that helps clarify it. Well, now you've made a decision to purchase your next ball, and when you're ready to place your order, simply follow our easy, simple online instructions, or give us a call. Our store is always open, and as always, we thank you for visiting bowlingball.com.